Hey there, welcome to The Junk Drawer. My name is Enzo, and today we are talking about Venus McFlytrap. So Venus McFlytrap, uh, I have been enamored with this doll for a while. Ever since it was announced, I was like, this doll looks amazing, and I was very excited to get it. And I had been online checking Amazon uh, for, I've been checking for the past like month or so. And I've seen other people kind of get get a hold of it. Uh, it would go in and out of stock, which is really annoying because you just have to constantly keep checking. And I think the official release date for the doll was this past weekend. So they actually finally hit the store shelves. And I was like, okay, I'm ha not having a ton of luck online. So let me try actually going to a Target. So I went to my Target. And lo and behold, here she is. And I can't tell you, inside I was uh, screaming <laughs> with joy when I saw this on the shelf. I was like, oh my God, there it is. I got so excited when I saw this because I think she is such a good doll. Like she looks amazing. I love everything about her. So uh, anyway, so this is the front of the box. She comes in the standard Monster High kind of core doll packaging. So we have some uh, artwork here. And I think this is actually the updated artwork. Is this a Donnie Darko artwork? Hey. I feel like, I think it, I think it, I think it is. Um, but yeah, and then uh, her accessories, obviously. And then the side has the usual stuff and then Monster High. And then the back has her little bio um, and the, this illustration, which is, which is amazing. So anyway, uh, let me just get into it and we'll take a closer look. So let's start with her accessories. So first we have this water bottle which is super cute. There's like sh like strawberries and skulls on the side. And we also have another bottle that is kind of like, it's like a spray bottle, but it says hydrate on it. So I don't know if this is for her, her pet or what, but uh, yeah, it's super cute. And here is her eye coffin. It's got a Venus fly trap on the back, obviously. This is her snack. It says bite on it. So this is a folder that opens up to some uh, scratch marks. Uh, I'm not sure what this is referencing, but there's that. But it's cute that it opens up. And then this is her backpack, which is this clear blue kind of um, carrier. So I think this is for Chulian, her pet, uh, which is really cute. So she can carry, carry it around. Uh, it's got these studded straps. I kind of really like, I really like this, this, uh, this backpack. It's really cool. And of course she comes with sunglasses and these are on the smaller side and they are vine themed. There's like vines coming up the arms and along the rims. And they're this uh, really cute pink color. And here is her pet, Chulian. So uh, Chulian looks like a Venus flytrap slash something fluffy and cute. <laughs> I'm not sure. But the, the cute thing about this is uh, it comes in this basket, but you can remove the basket and just have it be by itself. So I guess you can put you can put it put Julian in the bag like this. I'm curious to see if uh, Julian fits. Oh, okay. So his basket does fit in there as well. It's like a tighter fit, but it definitely fits. So super cute. And here is Venus. So here is her front and her back. Uh, first impressions, she is. So good. Uh, probably, I hate to say this, but she might be my new favorite G3 Monster High doll. Uh, maybe there might be a Draculaura that's that that goes above her, but she is like she's really really good. Uh, I I definitely recommend picking her up if you're a G3 fan. But anyway, let's uh, let's just take a look at her. So first off, she has this amazing micro braided hair in pink and uh, neon pink and neon green. It's just, it, it's so good. It's so good. And then it's braided on the sides here. This is just molded plastic. 
Um, then she's got like baby hairs. Uh, her face is really good. She's got a really nice face. I can't exactly tell what her earrings are, but they're silver and it looks like they're like kind of kind of like a like a thorny flower of sorts. So she also has this hair clip that's in her hair that goes all the way down. It, I almost thought it was her earring at first, but yeah, it's just a hair clip that comes out. Uh, but yeah, it's a really nice, nice touch to the hair. So then if we move down to her necklace, uh, it looks like it's just like thorns, like a, like a vine with thorns on it and it's silver, it's plastic. So if we move down to her outfit or her top here, it's a shirt. It's like a, like a, a crop, crop t-shirt. Uh, over top a long sleeve shirt. And these are actually two different pieces. So this does actually come off. So she could just be wearing the undershirt. And the undershirt is kind of like a meshy material. And it's also got this like, again, thorny kind of pattern to it with the striping. And then her shirt says nature. And if we move down, she is wearing this silver belt. I do appreciate the colored accents. Uh, I like that they did not just leave it plain old silver. And then she's got these cut off shorts again with a uh, kind of like a thorny pattern with vines and some, there's some peace signs on here. And I think this is meant to look like denim. Uh, and then if we move down to her socks, uh, she's wearing these uh, socks that don't match, which is amazing. I, I, I really love this. So this, this side is like a, kind of like a stocking almost, or like a, more like a traditional sock, but it's got like rips in it. And then this is more of like a hose, hosiery, um, I guess is what you call it. Uh, and then if we move down to her boots, uh, her boots are really awesome also. Uh, they do, they do have the ombre, the classic Monster High ombre coloring. And then they have these green vines kind of wrapping around them. And they are loose, so they are separate pieces. Uh, I don't know that you would necessarily want to remove them. They're currently strapped uh, with some, some rubber bands here. Uh, so I'm assuming you could, you could remove them if you wanted to, but I think, it, I think they look good like that. And then the actual boots. I love the fronts of these boots the, with the teeth and um, all the vines and textures. And these are I, I, also probably one of my favorite boots I've seen in G3 or shoes in general. Uh, they are, they're really, really good. Then you may have noticed that she does have texture on her skin. So she's got these like vine uh, textures on her legs. I don't know if she has anything on, her, anything on her arms, but they're definitely prominent on her legs, which just adds to the, the character. But yeah, I, I love this doll so much. I am so glad I was able to snag her. And um, she's, like I said, she's definitely worth picking up. But right now I want to, I kind of want to do a body comparison between some other Monster High G3 dolls because I was like, oh, she's kind of, she's kind of like on the taller side. And I was like, I wonder if she's as tall as Abby or Frankie. So uh, let me do that and I'll be right back. So here is Venus next to Frankie and Venus is actually taller than Frankie. So that, I don't know if, if this is a new body sculpt or not, but I, and I thought Frankie was like the tallest until Abby came out and I was like, oh, Abby is the tallest. And now, I don't know, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna see how, how Venus compares to Abby, but this is the body comparison of the two. So it appears that Venus and Abby are actually the same height. It's just that their body types are different. So Abby has a thicker body and Venus has a more slender body. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of this Venus McFlytrap G3 Monster High doll. Uh, I would love to know what you think of her, if you want her, if you have her, all, all the good stuff. Thank you so much for watching as always. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe and I hope you have a lovely, wonderful day and I will catch you next time. Next time, not next time, next time. <laughs>